You don't have to be athletic. Yes. Um, I you think actually have to be an Olympian. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, I think that's the beauty of sport, right? I mean, I, I still like to think I'm slightly athletic, but I certainly couldn't compete at any high level. I consider myself like a social competitor now, which is more related to the hot beverage I could have in the morning or the cold beverage in the evening after my workouts. So I think it's just understanding the need to bring these kids together, give them confidence, the tools, somebody who cares about them to be successful leaders. Um, kids all around the world really have this desire to make change where they live and to be the person to inspire the other kids around them. So when, when they're in these Right to Play programs, I do feel them lighting up inside. Um, we have almost, as you saw on the screen, almost 15,000 volunteer coaches. We used to have a very strong volunteer program from all over the world where people could sign up and go for three months and be a volunteer coach. But mostly here in the United States, it's word of mouth. If you could please share Right to Play with 20 or 30 or 40 of your friends, um, make sure they know we exist. If they feel that through sport you can teach everything about life, winning, losing, conflict resolution, inclusion, gender, uh, nutrition, diseases, everything like that, then take a look at it and maybe it'll be your charity of choice. Yeah.